Hi, I'm Sade. <clears throat> I've been homeschooling for two years and I was a public school high, high school math teacher for 14 years before homeschooling my kiddos. I'm eight weeks postpartum after having twins and today I'll be discussing how I'm surviving having newborns, potty training my two-year-old and keeping up with homeschool. Okay, so the short answer to that is kiss. I'm keeping it simple. Number one, meal plan. I've been keeping things simple when it comes to meals. If you need ideas, you can check out my YouTube short videos where I post what we're having for dinner weekly. For breakfast, the kids pretty much get what they can make. While I was pregnant, I taught my then seven-year-old how to use the air fryer and toaster so they could um, have hot things in the morning. If they want like French toast sticks, pancakes on a stick, waffles or bagels, and of course, there's always cereal. Sometimes my husband will make them an egg before he leaves for work in the morning. Um, frozen vegetables and paper plates have also been my go-to. Um, I make our days simple by just starting with chores and I don't rush. We have all day. Not being a slave to the clock. It's crazy that I took my daughter out of public school for that very reason and I had to be reminded of that. Um, I have like time in the day. So if we're doing school at night, that's okay. Number three, have a soft start. After chores, it's usually time to feed the twins again. So I get the kids started on dependent practice and then, or a game or a challenge. And then we move to our group activities, which includes calendar work, devotional time, story time with um, like a five in a row method in history. If you're interested in seeing how I incorporate books throughout the week, I have a video going over that. It's a Charlotte Mason inspired morning basket time and the kids really like it. The next thing we do is delegate. I recently invested in cleaners for the bathroom, just keeping it real. I can't do everything. And that's one of the things that I needed to let go. It's a chore that takes the longest and it's the one no one wants to do between my husband and I. So we canceled our cable subscription. So we um, wouldn't offset our budget. I had the sitter come once a week, 10 to two to help with the three older children while I nap and 10 to the twins or just take a breather. During this time is when I schedule their doctor's appointments and grocery pickup or delivery. Um, and lastly, having blinders. My season is my season. I'm not going to be able to keep up with others. Resting when I'm tired, changing the time to evenings, and then just one bite at a time. I'd love to soak you in prayer during this time and just remember that you have got this. So let's go ahead and get started. Heavenly Father, your word says that in our weakness, you are made strong. We confess that we've allowed the world to dictate what strength looks like. This does not give you glory. Thank you in delighting in our weaknesses. Thank you for seeing our obedience during this season and honoring our worship, however we show up to you. Whether it be cleaning our home, training or teaching our children, speaking life into our spouses or resting, that's all worship to you. It gives me deep joy in knowing you see us and knowing you hear us and that we've captured your heart. Thank you for your spirit that resides in us and delights in being our helper. We call on your help because that's the only way we can make it through the valley and over the mountains. We give you full reign over our home and give you permission to fill it with unified joy. We cast down every voice that speaks anything against your word. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who performs miracles and who still is in the business of performing them. I see us as a miracle of grace, and that can only happen through him. At this time, I lift up the homeschooling family who is at the end of their rope, who feel inadequate to continue to homeschool or to even start, or who are just weary. And I say, delight in your weakness, call on the Holy Spirit to guide you, and remember your why. In Jesus' name, amen. So just a quick recap. Um, the things that have been helping me are to meal plan, start with chores and taking it slow, have a soft start, delegating 
and having on blinders. So um, hopefully those tips have helped you. Leave a comment in the description. Oh, well, leave a comment below and let me know how you are navigating your season of life if you're in the same season as I am. And um, yeah, have a great day and don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye.